Hey guys, it's Captain Ballarms. I got it. My first sniping DNA. I've been going for this for the last two days. I failed it a good amount of times on 20 pluses, uh, 25 pluses to be exact, like generally one or two off. Um, I failed it again on instinct like one or two times before I got this. But I wasn't even trying to get a DNA bomb with the sniper on this map. I was just like, this isn't that great of a lobby, so I'm just going to snipe and have some fun. And I managed to pick up the uh, sniper DNA, or the Moore's DNA, whatever you want to call it. So that's pretty awesome. Um, hopefully you guys do enjoy this and this isn't really or the gameplay isn't really what I want to focus on today I want to focus on skill based matchmaking and I haven't talked about this and I feel like it's long overdue I'm also going to talk a little bit about reverse boosting and my opinions on it you can have your own opinions you can leave your opinions down in the comments but hopefully you agree with me because I think I make the most sense on this uh, subject so with skill based matchmaking you're basically going to get thrown into games with the same kill death ratio or with players thrown into games with players with around the same kill death ratio as you, same stats like that. Uh, it mainly goes off kill death ratio from what I can see. It might go off level 2, but I'm not sure. I actually don't think it does. I think it's just strictly kill death ratio. But uh, basically, with that being said, if you have a 3 KD, you're going to get matched up with people that have 3 KDs, and it's generally going to be full parties or just sweaties, high prestige guys and stuff like that. They're probably interested in K or taking all the flags, playing the objective, you know, uh, competitive stuff like that for the most part. So they're probably loving this game. Um, and then you got the noobs, which like to sit in corners and have low stats, and they still can kill you in retarded ways. They do it all the time to me. And you still kind of struggle for gameplays, but it's a little bit easier. And they're basically loving it as well because they're not going up against sweaty people like in other Call of Duties. And they basically are probably really enjoying the game. And it's probably making more players play it. Or their friends are, or they're telling friends about how fun the game is because they're not going up against all these uh, sweaties. And I think that's what they need to do in all the Call of Duties. I think they need to keep that in there. I think it'll make the game grow more. Um, and I think it'll bring it back to life even more. So I think skill based matchmaking should be in all Call of Duty's and never taken out. Uh, we, the pub stompers and the, uh, the, what are they called? Spawn trappers are the only people that get affected by this. And it's, I don't think it's that big of a community, really, for them to worry about taking it out. Yeah, we get screwed over, but is it really that hard to, like, make a new account maybe every week or two? Um,. Well, I guess it is if you have Xbox, but it's really that hard to just kill yourself for an hour so at some part of the day before you play. I mean, honestly, it's not that big of a deal. Um, and basically, that's my opinion on it. I think they should keep it in. I think it's a good thing. I, I don't think it's a bad thing. They're, they have this like petition that's signed to take it out of the game, but I don't know if they're going to do it. I really hope they don't. Um, they can. They can do whatever they want, though. The next thing is I'll talk about reverse boosting real quick. I don't think you're any less of a player if you reverse boost. I think it doesn't matter if you reverse boost or not. If you don't reverse boost, most of the time, unless you got really lucky, that DNA bomb that you get is going to be really slow paced, really campy, not enjoyable to watch in my opinion. And you probably could get one DNA against sweaties in the time you get like 10 or more DNAs against... Um, people with lower stats on a reverse boost account. Now you're still going to fail it plenty of times, but you're going to have a better shot at it. And it's going to be more rushing, it's going to be more enjoyable, and that's my opinion on uh, reverse boosting. Um, I hope you guys agree with me on these uh, thoughts, because I th have been thinking a lot lately, and that is how I feel on them, and I think that's the, the perfect way to feel about it. So, I'm getting close to this sniper DNA, and uh, basically what I wanted to talk about real quick is I hope you guys uh, do enjoy the video, you do enjoy this DNA, and if you do, make sure you hit the like button, uh, make sure you comment if you want to tell me your opinions on skill based matchmaking and reverse boosting, and then also make sure you uh, subscribe if you want to see more insane gameplays. I will be uploading the triple uh, DNA bomb with the laser gun uh, tomorrow, I just didn't want to upload like instinct four times in a row. Uh, if you guys have already seen that on Doom, you'll see it again, just because it's insane.